Hi everyone, this is Aaron from HH Watch Reviews. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have the review of the Seastern S434. I purchased the watch during the AliExpress summer sale from the uh, Seastern Mechanical Dive Watch official store. Now, if you want to check out the watch, I will leave a link to the store down below in the description. This watch comes in five different colorways. So we have the black dial, the blue dial, the green dial, and there's also two two-tone versions. So you have the two-tone with the black dial and also the two-tone with the blue dial. Now, before we look at the watch, uh, inside the box, you will have a warranty card, a manual, and a screwdriver. Uh, so once again, I appreciate the fact that they included the screwdriver so you're able to uh, size your bracelet as soon as you receive the watch. Let's start with the measurements. We have a case diameter of 39 millimeters, a thickness of 13 millimeters, a lug to lug distance of 46 millimeters, and a lug width of 20 millimeters. We have a Seiko NH35 movement inside. This is an automatic movement with hacking and hand winding. Uh, there is about 41 hours of power reserve. It beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour. And we also have a date complication at three o'clock. If you look at the case, we have a brushing on top and brushing on the sides. We have a beautiful polished bevel that goes from one lug all the way to the other. The transitions between the polished and brushed areas are very sharp. If we look at the uh, bracelet, we have solid end links and uh, the bracelet is a three piece uh, design. Everything is brushed on top and the sides of the bracelet are polished. Each link is held by a screw. We have a fully milled clasp. The top of the clasp is brushed and you have a polished bevel on each side. You have the Seastern logo in the middle. And uh, what's nice about this clasp is that it offers on the fly micro adjustments. Now, the mechanism used here is very different from uh, the San Martin clasp that I recently reviewed. Uh, but you know, you still have a very functional clasp with five uh, positions of micro adjustments. Uh, the, it's not as smooth as the San Martin, uh, but it's still, you know, something that, uh, and this price range is a nice addition. Before looking at the dial, we have a domed sapphire crystal with AR coating and the bezel is a coin edge bezel with ceramic bezel insert, which is fully loomed. I'm going to show you a loom shot later on in the video, uh, but let's just hear the bezel in action. Everything lines up perfectly. So we have a 5.4 millimeter crown. And when I first received the watch, I thought the crown was a bit too small for the watch. And I still think that it's a bit too small, maybe a millimeter or two too small, but the crown itself is very nicely uh, built. It's very easy to grip, very easy to unscrew and wind the watch. Uh, so it functions very nicely. I just wish it was a tiny bit bigger just to match the proportions of the case. Now, I mentioned in the beginning that this watch is offered in multiple colors. And uh, as soon as I saw the photos, I could tell that the black and the blue had a sunburst effect on the dial. But I wasn't 100% sure on the green. Some photos, uh, there was some kind of a sunburst effect that you can see, but most photos it showed that it was a matte dial so i took a risk and ordered this one and i'm happy to report that this dial is a matte finish dial uh, there's no sunburst effect there's a little bit of uh maybe like a, how should i say like a sparkly effect on the dial i'm guessing that's the paint uh the way they uh, apply the paint on the dial but there's no sunburst effect uh, most most of the time it just looks like a plain green dial and I really, really like that about this watch. And uh, you can see here in some shots that the dial matches the color of the bezel. And in some other shots, the bezel is a little bit lighter. Uh, but I think that Seastern really did a good job of trying to match the color on the ceramic bezel insert and the dial. Uh, especially since these are two different types of materials. So it's very hard to match the color. Uh, but I think that Seastern really did a great job on this.
Now my favorite thing about this watch has to be the numerals and markers. And not just the fact that, you know, we have a mix of markers and numerals, but the fact that Seastern decided to apply these markers and numerals instead of just printing them on the dial. I think this gives a beautiful three-dimensional look to the dial. And uh, especially if you look at an angle, you can see those applied markers and it looks very, very nice. These markers are all polished and filled with loom. Uh, it doesn't matter how you look at the watch. If the light hits the watch, those markers will just jump to your face. And it's very nice to look at. Now, I wish that these markers and numerals had just a bit more loom in it. Because if you look at the loom shot, you can see that everything glows very nicely. But what happens is that the numerals and markers fade away a lot faster compared to the hands and the bezel insert. Uh, so I wish there was just a few more layers of loom on the markers and numerals just to really give that uh, beautiful dial just a little bit more, you know, presence when you're looking at the watch at night. Now, this watch is not perfect. And the first thing I noticed, and I hope see certain uh, fixes in future versions of this watch or any other, you know, watch they release is the clasp. And, um, you know, I appreciate that there's on the fly micro adjustments but the mechanism used is not very smooth and uh, on my example here uh, the last position so not the most extended but if you make the bracelet uh, the smallest size I'm unable to always click in uh, the bracelet to the last position so I end up using only four uh, micro positions on the clasp but uh, yeah so if they could just you know work on that mechanism and just make it a little bit better I think that this clasp will be perfect because everything else about the clasp, uh, the finishing is perfect. It's very slim. Uh, there's no sharp edges. It's very comfortable on, on the wrist. So, you know, if they can just fix that little mechanism and make it a little bit more smoother, I think that uh, that clasp will be just perfect. And the second thing that uh, I hope they improve on uh, in future versions is the loom on the markers and numerals. Uh, so I mentioned this already, but you know, I wish there was just a few more layers of loom on the markers and numerals uh, just to match the hands and the bezel inserts. And lastly, this is more of a personal preference, but I prefer a solid closed case back instead of a see-through case back, especially since these are just you know, regular Seiko movements. There's nothing wild to see about it. If you're into automatic watches, you know what an automatic movement looks like. Uh, so if it's not really a decorated movement, there's no point of having a see-through case back. Uh, especially since, you know, this watch is 13 millimeter thick. You have a domed sapphire crystal that doesn't really need to be domed. Could have been just flat. And also, you know, that case back adds another millimeter or two probably. Uh, so if you can make a watch slimmer, I think that uh, that should be the, the first option to go for. So that about wraps up my review of this watch. Uh, do I like it? I think that this is a great first version of this watch. There's some improvements to be done, but overall, I think this watch wears very comfortably. Uh, I like the compact luck to luck length of this watch. I think that, you know, Seastern did a great job with this, especially giving us multiple options of color and also making two tone models. I think that's also a great option for buyers. So a great job, Seastern, on this watch. Now, let me know what you guys think about this watch. The, has anyone purchased this watch during the summer sale or any other watches? Let me know down below in the comments. If uh, you purchased this watch, did you purchase the two-tone versions? Or were you just waiting to see if this green one was a matte dial or not, just like me? Uh, so yeah, so let me know down below in the comments what you think of this watch. But as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with a friend or two. And if you want to watch more watch content, click on that subscribe button and click on that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one.